Another setback for Elon Musk, his ambitious space program, SpaceX Starship, the world's most powerful rocket launched for its ninth uncrewed test flight from Texas but failed to complete its mission. After liftoff from the Starbase facility near Brownsville, the massive two-stage vehicle lost control mid-flight and broke apart. marking the third consecutive test that fell short of key objectives here's what happened during the launch and what it means for the future of spacex interplanetary ambitions the two stage spacecraft consisting of the starship vessel mounted atop a towering spacex super heavy rocket booster blasted off at about 7:36 pm from the company's starbase launch site on the gulf coast of texas near brownsville CEO Elon Musk's SpaceX hoped to release a series of mock satellites following liftoff but that got nixed because the door failed to open all the way. Then the spacecraft began spinning as it skimmed space toward an uncontrolled landing in the Indian Ocean. SpaceX later confirmed that the spacecraft experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly or burst apart. The company said in an online statement and I quote teams will continue to review data and work toward our next flight test. A live SpaceX webcast of the liftoff showed the rocket ship rising from the launch tower into the early evening sky as the super heavy cluster of powerful Raptor engines thundered to life in a ball of flame and billowing clouds of exhaust and water vapor. SpaceX launched the Starship system with a previously flown Super Heavy booster for the first time, aiming to achieve a key demonstration of its reusability. The 232-foot first-stage booster will not attempt a return to its launch pad but target the Gulf of Mexico for a controlled splashdown. Federal regulators granted SpaceX a license for Starship's latest flight attempt just 4 days ago, capping a mishap investigation that had grounded Starship for nearly 2 months. Its last two test flights in January and March were cut short moments after liftoff as the vehicle blew to pieces on its ascent, raining debris over parts of the Caribbean and disrupting scores of commercial airline flights in the region. The Federal Aviation Administration expanded debris hazard zones around the Axon Path for Tuesday's launch, the ninth full test flight of the Starship campaign. The previous back-to-back -back failures occurred in early test flight phases that SpaceX had easily achieved before, dealing a striking setback to a program that Musk, the billionaire entrepreneur who founded the rocket company in 2002, had sought to accelerate this year. Musk, the world's wealthiest individual and a key supporter of US President Donald Trump, was especially eager for a success after vowing in recent days to refocus his attention on his various business ventures, including SpaceX, following a tumultuous foray into national politics and his attempts at cutting government bureaucracy. Musk is counting on Starship to fulfill his goal of producing a large, multi-purpose next-generation spacecraft capable of sending people and cargo to the moon later this decade and ultimately flying to Mars. Closer to home, Musk also sees Starship as eventually replacing SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket as the workhorse in the company's commercial launch business, which already lofts most of the world's satellites and other payloads to low Earth orbit. Musk was scheduled to deliver an update on his space exploration ambitions in a speech from Starbase following the test flight to be live streamed under the banner slogan and I quote the road to making life multiplanetary. He was expected to offer new timelines and development plans for sending cargo and potentially astronauts abroad Starship on voyages to Mars, a tantalizing but still distant future destination for human space flight that poses major technical hurdles for SpaceX and NASA. While Musk has been known to make overly ambitious projections about SpaceX's development timelines, he has since amassed significantly more sway over the Trump administration's space agenda. The 400-foot-tall Starship rocket system is the centerpiece of Musk's vision to ferry humans to Mars and expand SpaceX's global dominance in the satellite launch market, a foothold the company gained with its reusable Falcon 9. Picked by NASA in 2021 as the vehicle to return humans to the moon's surface, this decade for the first time in more than 50 years, Starship is expected to play an even bigger role in the US space program. Trump attended a Starship test launch in November and has publicly promoted Musk's Mars vision. 
Musk and SpaceX remain influential over US space policy despite his recent shift away from government and signals to cut political spending. Trump's choice to lead NASA, Jared Isaacman, a billionaire private astronaut and SpaceX customer for whom Musk advocated, testified before a US Senate committee in April but has not advanced through the full confirmation process, while significant changes loom at the US space agency. A White House budget blueprint released earlier this month proposed $6 billion in cuts at NASA, bolstering the agency's mass focus and threatening programs that Musk and Isaac Mann have criticized. During a tense May 22nd White House event with Trump and South African President Ramaphosa, South African born Musk stood among Trump's cabinet officials in the room and was pointed out by the US President. Trump said, and I quote, he actually came here on a different subject, sending rockets to Mars. He likes that subject better. For more such stories, keep watching the Indian Express.